like Cinderella teens Used to see the things I feel inside these denim jeans I can't associate with y'all, this shit like ketamine Been on one, been on two, been on everything Bitch, I'm with my gang, with my squad, what the fuck you want? So be rolling gas, I can't hang, bitch, I'm fucking gone I got people down from the jump, better know What's up, everybody? It's your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a message today. It's currently 5.06 p.m. on May 25th, 2024. It's about to rain here, so I'm happy. Maybe we'll get some thunder. You feel me? Thank you all for joining me today, though. I appreciate you, and I love you very much. What's up, baby? Love you, too, right? I'd like to thank everybody for, for uh, coming in here to fuck with your boy today, to fuck with your crazy ass uncle. I appreciate you. I'm just going to jump right into this, okay? We're getting rid of the motherfucking witchcraft because I can feel it, okay? I knew it. I knew it. It's the witchcraft. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you, man, these motherfucking people, man, they need to go somewhere. And have They need to have several several seats. And as I said before, there's enough of them. For everybody to take a seat, even our our asses sometimes, you feel me? But you got these people out here copying, shadow banning, trying to do all that shit. And it's so stupid, though, because it don't belong to, you know, the shit that people try to control never belongs to them anyway. That's why they try to control it, you feel me? But nobody gives a fuck about that, okay? I'm not a fucking savage, a spiritual savage at that. I don't care. But I do care about bitches playing in my energy, so... I've already recalled all my energy back, okay? And I'm gonna ask anything that's being sent my way from people known and unknown be sent right back to your motherfucking ass. Ten times folk, guided with love and light, with some haste behind it. Let that return to sender hit your ass and see if you like that, okay? I don't even like doing return to senders like that no more, but you know what? Because there's a time and a place for everything. And when people are playing in your energy, like how people have been playing in my energy, you got to do that sometimes. You have to You have to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody else going to do it. Okay. I mean, they can. But you, can, you shouldn't expect everybody else to, anybody else to protect you. You know, unless you're like married or something. Or you're dating somebody. Or maybe, you know, you know y'all know what I'm saying and shit. But any, anyway, let's get on with this. Okay. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so that I give a clear and concise message. Also, Archangel Michael, please protect my energy, cloak my energy against narcissists and people that are practicing dark arts and witchcraft. Uh, there's a lot of um, spiritual spying going on too, like um, remote viewing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, like, you remember that movie, The uh, Frailty, about the God, the God's Hand Killer? About that guy that was uh he was like a serial killer, but he was a serial killer for God. Take he was taking people out that that were horrible. They were they were like pedophiles or they were like murderers, uh, or they were like very abusive. But I think they would have had to like murder people or something. Anyway, uh, when they were looking for the killer of the of of, of the chief because the chief was a, he was a scab. He had murdered his mother and uh, did some other horrible things as well to kids. And when he touched them. He could he could see what people had done. I don't. It's a very wonderful wonderful movie with stars Bill Paxton and uh, Noah Wiley. I think it's Noah Wiley. I think I could be wrong though. I think it is Noah Wiley and Bill Paxton. When the wind is blowing, you know the witchcraft is strong. Uh, but so anyway, uh, he touches the guy and he can see everything. He, he would touch people and he could see what people had done. And uh, it was his job to smite them. I keep telling you ignorant bitches that you come around here and you click that subscribe or you click the like or the dislike or hell even if you come in and just view. I can see a lot of things. Okay. I had a thought. People try to keep secrets but there aren't really, there aren't, there aren't really secrets. You feel me? It's just a period of time before the universe. It's like the, the, the secret that people think that they're keeping when they're doing something wrong, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because we keep secrets that aren't wrong. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you feel me? But it's like 
people do do things and then they don't tell people or they keep it to themselves and, it, and it's and it's usually horrible things and they feel like they're keeping a secret or they're, or they're keeping something to themselves but the universe sees everything so does the moon so does god i mean we can go on and on but that time that they're keeping a secret is really just the universe not saying something to somebody who's psychic you feel me that's what people are afraid of because the, the, the people people i know people have come to my channel and went well how the hell did he know that because the universe knows it ain't nobody spying on your funky ass bitch don't nobody need to see y'all like that but the universe has to see you the moon sees you all the time when you're doing that magic and so the moon is the keeper of the secrets hence the moon card in the tarot deck represents secrets are things unseen things hidden it also represents fear so yeah i've been hearing the revenge factor like the x factor so it's like people competing to get revenge or people trying to see who can who can exact the best revenge out of a group of people i'm hearing which is stupid so then i got a vision it's like somebody going through somebody's trash and trash could be uh, a metaphor for your business, your dirty laundry, things that maybe you don't tell people, or maybe things that you know everybody doesn't need to know. A secret. It could really be a secret. Not a bad secret, but just things that ain't everybody's business. But specifically, somebody going through somebody's trash. I know I've dealt with that before over here, like people going through the dumpster. Confirmation. That's that's now that's we talk about a lot of weird shit on this channel, but that's just disgusting. I mean, I wouldn't even want to hug a motherfucker that done been in some damn trash, okay? Especially this nasty ass trash over here. Somebody could be from St. Louis. But I get this vision of like somebody going through your trash trying to find something on you. And then what they're planning on doing is that they're, they're dirt digging, literally, okay? And they're dirt digging and they come up and they go, I found it. I found it. Everybody, look, look what I found. Look what I found. Thinking that they're about to get this revenge on you and then i'm seeing people go you took that out the trash <laughs> like fuck well, fuck that you went in the trash and got that <laughs> you 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 that you first of all it takes a dirty motherfucker to do some shit like that but you gotta be a real scab okay a filthy scab it to 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 go through some dirt some dumpster like some literal trash to find us, unless you're like working for the FBI and it's going to a sorting facility where they, where, you know, like on the TV where they, the TV, on, on TV, like where they lay it all out and then they take, you know, they got the tweezers and they're trying to piece. You, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about a bitch going through some trash trying to see if there's condom wrappers in there or if there's some type of uh, incriminating evidence, drug paraphernalia receipts. You know, of course, they're going in there to see if they can find any personal identity, like PIDs. You know, personally identifying information. PIDs. What's a PID? That's not a PID. But you get where I'm coming from. Personally identifying information, a PII. I think it's called something very different than that. But anyway, of course they got to dig through that to see if they can find like a social security card or like a, a bank statement. Because these people that are doing this shit not only are, are, are filthy scabbits that like to go through people's trash cans. They're also doing shit like credit card fraud, identity fraud those kinds of things as well so while we're talking about uh dumpster children let me get the garbage pill kid deck hold on all right make sure you like share subscribe hit that notification bell select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload you feel me <laughs> all right so tell us about <laughs> Tell us about these people in the revenge factor. I wrote it down. Revenge factor. Okay. There's a group of people that are, that are pretty much sitting around going, um, this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. And this is what you're going to do. And they're all like key key. And I'm seeing it. They're all like key. They, they, they feel like they feel like they've got it. They've got it this time is what I heard. They're going to really do it this time. Ah, okay, let's see. Just to cut the deck here. Tell you seven of swords in the reverse. Okay, somebody, they're going to get caught. They're going to catch themselves up. They, I mean, people people show their own hands anyways. You know what I'm saying? They always show the hand that they're playing when they do dumb shit like this. They People, people, people that do stuff like this are always guilty. 
They're always guilty of something. The Seven of Swords in reverse are always guilty guilty of something. Probably lying to and now they get karma. Eight of Wands in the reverse. I'm telling you, Page of Wands is bad news for these motherfuckers, okay? Okay, and we got the temperance card out here, which talks about imbalances or a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius could really be the leader of this crew. Or somebody very unhealthy or got a bad temper, whatever the case may be. But the temperance card does talk about balance and healing. Uh, this could also talk about somebody that's an earth heathen, somebody that is not godly. Spirit says that's the truth. Some type of truth or clarity is about to be revealed about these these here people. Okay. I'm hearing there could be like five people. Let's see. Somebody's about to get raided today. There's about to be a raid. What else we got here? We got two, two, two. So two, two, you could be seeing we got two cards popping out. Somebody ace of cups in the reverse to the knight of wands. So we're talking about somebody here, knight of wands. That's the energy that this uh, Sagittarius could possibly be in. But this is somebody that's a little sweet dick willy. This is somebody that is very loose with the deuce. Um, this is somebody who's a finesser. Somebody who likes to finesse people. Confirmation. Somebody who, who does not believe in love or has never received love with the Ace of Cups here in the reverse. We got the Chariot to the Seven of Cups. One more. <laughs> we got the Four of Wands in the reverse. The Four of Wands talks about completion. I just heard whoever this is didn't graduate. Somebody's somebody's not a, a high school graduate. Somebody dropped out of high school. Whoever this doesn't have to be this person, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, but this person's uh, lack of love, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. This this person's. Um, inability, inability to love somebody is what I just heard. This could have been somebody that you turned down, that the love was unreciprocated. This person is headed with the chariot here to a very, it's, it's, they're headed nowhere. They're headed towards a, a, a failure. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody came towards you, seven of cups. This person was lying to you. Anyway, this person's a fucking liar or it's delusion or it's a little delulu. I feel like this person is delulu. Can you see? The image on the card, like the hypnotized, the, somebody's, you know, their eyes are hypnotized. So somebody tells a lot. Of, somebody's delusional. Um, I feel like this person also uh, makes people feel like they're delusional. You know what I'm saying? Like d this person finesses people. But this person is delusional. Clarify the seven of cups here. Because you turned somebody down. Yeah, that's what it is. Either maybe because this person, this person probably came towards you and wanted to wanted to build something with you, wanted a house with you, or some type of marriage, or some type of engagement, or I don't know. This person could have wanted to just you know wanted you or wanted something with you. With the four of wands here, that talks about celebrations and you know completing a, a completion. Uh, it talks about stability. This person is very unstable, by the way, mentally unstable. I just heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. Justice. Yeah, this person has told some lies to the justice system. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these lies. There was an investigation. Somebody lied to somebody lied to an investigator here. This person likes to use drugs as well. The nine. Of, yep. And yep. And to the ace of coins in the reverse. This person spends a lot of money on drugs. Or a lot of money on a on a on a some type of habit because the nine of coins in the reverse talks about codependency. Uh, but this person, uh, this being, okay, uh, is it likes to use drugs a lot from the nine of coins. This is this is this person's is really bad with money. This person's very wasteful with money. This person likes to gamble as well. At the casino, that's what I heard. This person could be sick too. With the temperance card out here, I'm hearing. Yeah, well. That's the hermit card again. 
The Empress is at the top of the deck in the reverse. Could we be talking about a woman? Could be. What's the Hermit in the reverse? The Ten of Swords in the reverse. Somebody tried to hurt some. Somebody, somebody has plotted an ending for somebody again. In the reverse, it's not going to work. Page of Coins. Somebody was paid to create some type of ending for somebody. Maybe to get somebody to go to go hide, or maybe this with the Hermit here. The ten, of sword, the ten of Swords to the Hermit in the reverse. This could really mean somebody, because if it was the, the other way, somebody would have maybe tried to create, create an ending so that you would go hide. You feel me? Confirmation. I feel like this person's job was to probably embarrass you because we're talking about you know people trying to find dirt on you. I feel like this person was paid with the page of coins here. To, to create an ending for you, probably through some lies or maybe through some, because there is an investigation going on here now. I don't know what kind of investigation. It could it doesn't have to be with the law. It just could be somebody looking into things or looking into these people independent of the law I just heard. So we're talking about somebody here that's like a, a superhero, like a, a spy or something I just heard. <laughs> okay, like a spy. That's what I heard, a spy. People have been looking into these people. I heard an independent like an independent agency or like a third party. I don't know. Somebody was paid. This, okay, this, somebody somebody looked into what these people were doing. But this person was paid to create an ending for you to get you to go hide and it's not working or it hasn't worked or it's not going to work. Let's get some more energy out here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? <laughs> All right, 636 on the clock when I look down. You could be 36 years of age. Your birthday could be June 36th. You feel me? Happy birthday, Geminis. It's 522 p.m. So what am I picking up with that synchronicity here, that 522? Because I did hear something briefly here. That was three days ago. Whoever this is started three days ago, Okay. Of course, of course, of course, they, you know, they started three days before the moon. Is that what I heard? The moon was on the 23rd, but these people started whatever they were doing possibly three days ago. On the 22nd at the beginning of a Gemini season, you could be a Gemini as well. Um, I just heard somebody's very two-faced from you. Yeah, this is somebody, the, the devil in the reverse at the bottom of the deck with the emperor in the reverse. This is somebody that you, uh, that you broke away from, that you... That you either had some type of connection with. Uh, <clears throat> this is somebody that you had some type of connection with. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, shit. <clears throat> Throat chakra and shit. I told you. But this emperor in the reverse, it's in the reverse with the devil in the reverse. This is somebody that you broke away from because they're toxic. This person could have been abusive or this person could just be like a fucking whack job. That's what I heard. This person's a whack job. I don't, oop, and I got the fucking hiccups. Not, I don't even really believe that this is somebody that you were even in a relationship with. I just really feel like it's somebody that you just, you know, refused an offer from. We'll keep those out. The Queen of Coins is in the reverse. So this is somebody that's not very stable. Again, with the stability here, this is somebody that's really, has really bad spending habits. This person spends a lot of money on drugs. Maybe you knew that. This person was behind causing a tower for you. This tower in the reverse talks about uh, a complete like uh, an annihilation of things. Really unexpected kind of fucked up changes for you here. With the two of coins here, it was being. I told you it was a Donna. It was this was somebody somebody on the moon. This this moon cycle. That's why the energy is so fucking nasty and strong because you got people doing moon magic here. That's what I heard. Yeah. Uh, with the two of coins here, with the tower in the reverse, this person was paid. To cause you a tower, a huge tower at that, to end you with the ten of coins, with the ten of, ten of knives out here, the ten of swords anyway. This and this is this person. Uh, you probably picked up on it. I mean, you're intuitive. I mean, or maybe you're not. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you didn't. But this is who's doing it. Let's get some initials out here real quick because I'm really kind of curious here. Can I get a few initials here? So now this person. <clears throat> I don't really feel like this person is operating off of revenge 
because you rebuffed them. I feel like you rebuffed their advances because that was part of the plan for them to come in and maybe woo you or finesse you to cause you an ending or maybe to get some dirt on you anyway from this group of people. I feel like whoever's in charge of this group of people is somebody that you probably, from what I'm you know, picking up, is somebody that you probably, uh, you probably used to live with. Yeah, you used to live with this person and you moved out. Uh, I'm seeing, I just saw something. The letter J is very significant here. Let's get another one out here. W. Okay. <laughs> Let's get one more, please. One more. X. JWX. Your X's initials could be JW or WJ. Xavier could be very significant. I don't know why I just heard xylophone. Like xylophone, that could be like somebody's ringtone or like, I don't know, like a doorbell. Doorbells could be very significant here, but the xylophone um, is the piano with the keys, with the bong bong, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you two could probably have children together because I just saw a flash of that toy that we had when we were kids. So you two could possibly have children together. Don't have to be, but xylophone is very significant. X is very significant. I feel like this person is your ex. JW are the initials. We're not even going to go down that road, okay? Because that can mean a lot of shit. I mean, Williams, Wilson, Jacob, Jamar, Jerry, John. You know, those, those, I mean, JW, those, I mean, somebody likes to make clothing. Somebody's a clothing designer or likes to make clothing. You could or they could. Mm -hmm. The last name West could be significant or somebody lives on the West Coast. Somebody really likes to make clothes. Somebody or somebody somebody or somebody likes to put together clothing. I, I feel like somebody makes clothes. I feel like whoever likes to make clothes, who, whoever likes to make clothing is a man. I'm picking up on a masculine energy like a male or whoever likes to make clothes. Okay. Somebody's really into fashion. Okay. The two of swords. A decision has been made. Tell me about this decision that has been made. To stop something. To stop this bullshit. The five of wands here. I feel like somebody made it. So I feel like. I feel like. Or you made a decision to stop dealing with this person because they were competing with you. This ex of yours, the JW. Hmm. Hmm. See, at the bottom of the deck, we got the seven of coins here to the hangman in the reverse, which means that. This is deep. I just heard this person couldn't sacrifice you for whatever money or they couldn't sacrifice you, though. Mm -mm. I feel like this has something to do with your reputation, though. Um, they were trying to they were trying to they were trying to stop whatever seed you've planted or, you know, the seven of Pentacles talks about, you know, investments being made or, you know, the seeds that you sow. You've sold you sowed good seeds. And I feel like this person tried to try to try to stop your you know people probably like you um you're celebrated or you're just somebody that people generally like to be around and shit i feel like this person tried to weaken that with strength in the reverse here mm -hmm. so we're talking about like i told you gossip these motherfuckers are sitting around doing all this dumb shit hey but so you got the fuck on from this person six of swords here yeah you did this person's a fucking scab okay <laughs> stupid bitch we got the eight of coins here to the knight of coin to the knight of cups somebody uh this has something to do with the job offer mm -hmm. spirit says that's the truth and a, and a new beginning for you here but keep it out yeah this has something to do with a job offer so these people so you could you you could you and your ex have been possibly competing for the same type of job I just heard you don't even know that your ex is even doing this shit. Mm -mm. 
them and their community of people, their friends, family, six of coins out here that talks about community, their confirmation. Mm -hmm. All these people are under heavy judgment for, for, for coming against you. I feel like I feel like the the revenge is because they can't end you. Like you refuse to like stop doing what you're doing or you refuse to die. Like you're not you're not meant to die or meet an ending. And again, like I said the other day, I feel like people take this shit very personally at this time. They just really do. Motherfuckers get real kind of shitty when they can't fuck you up. <laughs> they definitely do what the fuck is wrong with people, man. They get real shitty. When you have, it's always a motherfuckers, people that, you know, back in the day, I was, I was one of those bandwagon friends. Like I would be, you know, if somebody called me and said, Dwayne, this person's fucking with me. Are they trying to fight me? Where you at? I am on my way around the corner. I'm already there. You know what I'm saying? But the older I've gotten, I realized that we can't always do that. Now, if I'm with a friend of mine and somebody hits my friend or some shit's getting out of hand, I'm going to have to say something, you know, or put, hey, listen. Okay, but if a friend of mine calls me and says, oh, this person did this to me, I need you to be on my side to fuck them up. I'm going to go, hell no, nah, bitch. <laughs> like, no, that's sh that is between y'all. Okay, I mean, I'll talk to you about it. I could be your shoulder to cry on. I can give you some advice if that's what you want. You come stay at the crib for a few days if you need to, you know, get away from the person. But I'm not I'm not about to join that hate train because it takes two to tango. You feel me? And there's always the truth somewhere between their side, your side, and then the truth lies somewhere in the middle. And it ain't, it, listen, most times or not, people don't even know that who, the, what we're finding out is that people that choose to jump on these hate trains for their friends. And I use that term like this because this person is not their friend. This person is just somebody that got them involved in some bullshit because he knows he, confirmation because this person knows that their friends, okay, are loyal. This person is not your friend. If you're watching, if you're a scab that joined the hate train against this person or that's on this revenge factor bullshit, that person ain't your friend, dog. You got karma. Not that's you now you got karma. Okay? So you better like stop being friends with the person. Clean your clean your energy. But no, nah, we too old for that shit. We are too old to be jumping on the hate train cuz somebody said some shit. You want to vet the information. I don't give a fuck. It's, there's nothing wrong with telling somebody uh, that you know, well, I don't believe that. <laughs> or I got to look into that a little bit more before I jump, before I choose a side. You feel me? Anybody that gets mad at you and goes, well, you ain't my friend. And that, yeah, well, then they probably ain't your friend then. Okay? Because a, a real friend doesn't want their friend to get in any type of trouble or to get any karma back from some shit that they doing. Or because they fucked up in a relationship. Or maybe somebody else or maybe somebody else did fuck up in a relationship, but everybody else doesn't need to get involved in no shit like that. That's between th these two people and God. You feel me? Confirmation again. Especially with the horn honk. This person could be outside of your home or have been like circling outside of your home. Spirit says that's the truth. This person's a damn liar. The ace of swords in the reverse. This person lied to everybody about you to stop you from moving forward i'm telling you to hang one to sacrifice your ass yeah mm -hmm. let me get another card please i'm telling you they keep trying to they keep trying to lay you to rest but it's not happening it's, it's not happening that that's the energy i'm getting it they keep doing it but you don't need an ending. I'm, these motherfuckers have been through your trash. These people don't talk trash about you. Revenge factor. Let me get a couple more cards so I can get out this energy here. I guess this is what Spirit wants you to know. I'll get a state, couple of state cards out here. See what comes out. Your seven of coins. You still keep growing. You still keep planting good seeds. You still keep planting good seeds. Or that's the advice. Yeah, eight of cups and walk away. You plant seeds, you walk away. <laughs> Towards, you planted good seeds, you're walking away, you're leaving all this bullshit behind you, okay? You're flying right out, you're flying right away, okay? Uh, on to some type of celebration. Okay, with the three of cups here, and that leaves the will of fortune in a reverse. Oh, 
Ooh, yikes. So I'm telling you, somebody you used to be with. That was all about money that was betraying you. So this person was count, counting on a bunch of money or something. Like there was some type of some, some ten of coins energy, a big payout. If they could do this, whoever this person is, it's not happening. So we got so we got this young buck coming in that your ex sent you and a group of people sent your way. There's like five or six people, I'm telling you. Five or six different people have gotten together to, to do this. They already getting karma and shit. They about to be embarrassed with the six. Uh, uh, they about to they about to be embarrassed. Six of them motherfuckers, okay. Re like with strength behind that, they about there's about to be a huge fall from grace. The pride before the fall. Yep. For this person who betrayed you, that was really only with you for money. This 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 karmic lover in the reverse, okay. It's 536. I'm noticing the number 36 again. Somebody could really be 36 years of age. Somebody's birthday could be March 6th or June 3rd. I feel like whatever they're doing, though, this is something that they waited for Gemini season. You could be a Gemini. I don't know. You know, you could be a Gemini. Has something to do with your sign. Queen of Wands, you don't give up. You keep going, you keep moving forward. Yeah, you do. Somebody got some nasty ass ears too. Mm -hmm. Somebody got nasty ears. Yeah, you're Queen of, you're queen of Wands. You're the Queen of Swords here very very logical very intelligent you make informed decisions unlike these people but you could be speaking some kind of truth as well whatever you do or you know some type of truth the page of cups fishy cup offer this king of wands is gonna i'm telling you send somebody in to bring to bring this offer to you to stop you from moving forward with the two of wands here mm-hmm yeah, because I'm telling you, with the four the four coins in the reverse to death in the reverse, because you 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 can't you won't die. Death can't get a hold of you. Death can't death can't hold you. It's like you're a cat. You could have nine lives. Three thirty six does talk about nine. That's nine breaks down to a nine. That's nine lives. You could you could literally have been under attack nine different times. Okay, and you keep living. You keep moving forward. That happens to a lot of people. And <laughs> people be sitting back mad in the motherfucker because they can't kill some damn body or create an ending for people. Uh, because the ending is not yours to create for this person. You don't, you know, it's not, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be creating endings for people unless God tells us to. And God is not going to tell us to, to start gossip, to start hate trains. God's going to pretty much tell us to tell the truth. That's, you, that's how all these endings are occurring for people these days. If anybody out there hasn't noticed. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person now they mad and want to hurt your ass because they keep trying to hurt you with the Knight of Swords energy. That's 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 very angry in the reverse, very angry, irrational energy. And they won't let it go. I'm telling you, they 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 are not letting it go. This person is crying over spilled milk, looking over things of the past, a five of cups person's in regret. Mm -mm. The nine of wands here. Whoever this person is, Nine of Wands has been beat the fuck up. Like, life has been kicking this person's ass. And they're still standing. Hey, this person got a lot of tenacity about them. Six of Cups is somebody from your past. And it's a karmic past at that. Six of Cups in the reverse. What's behind that? The sun in the reverse. You, there was, you had bad memories of this person. This person could have been abusive to you as well. Yeah, again, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. You really, you walked away from this person. This person probably was very abusive, had you in some type of entrapment, mental entrapment. This person had you in a web of lies with the spider here. This is your ex, definitely your ex, with the X on the spider as well. Yeah, you got out of that shit. The Nine of Swords, you're no longer stressed out, depressed. You're probably sleeping well. You're probably looking good, okay? Yeah, you're not taking any offers from this motherfucker. This person could also be having like an empress energy 
like a sister or maybe like a feminine, a, a, a female friend or a sister or maybe even their mother maybe reach out to you or something. Mm-hmm. One more card. The Knight of Coins. Yeah, in the reverse. Listen, this person likes to breadcrumb. This person has been breadcrumbing these people. The Empress card out here in the reverse, that's somebody's that's somebody's fucking mom. Or it could be their wife. Hell, it could be both. You feel me? <laughs> that's what I heard. That's just what I heard for real. Mm -mm. That's deep. Spirit says all you got to do is sit back and watch the star fall. You ain't got to do much. Mm -hmm. Just sit back and watch because this is what's about to happen. Again, I just heard. Let's get a monology card out here. This will be my only upload this evening, I think. This card came right out. A time for healing. You could still be healing from what this person has done to you. You're being encouraged to continue to heal. This person obviously is not healed and neither are these fucking people. Okay. Another card, please. Thank you. A personal issue reaches resolution. I'm telling you, Spirit said just to have a... I'm telling you what I'm hearing and what the cards just said. Sit back and watch that explosion, baby. Because that star is about to fall. Okay? Aquarius could be very significant as well. Doesn't have to be. One more. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay? Have faith in your dreams. Whatever, whatever it is that these people have been trying to ruin for you, Continue to move, move with, uh, move in faith. Have mustard seed faith for the Most High God, and your dreams. You are being divinely guided out of your South Node, or you already have been. This person is still stuck in their South Node, and that's part of your past. Expect a very powerful change. Something's going to be eclipsed out here of your life with the eclipse card out here. Okay. I think that's it, though. I think that's all we have. Uh, just a kind of a little channel message here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification. Yeah, balance spirituality and practicality. I feel like this person should, but you don't have to worry about that bitch. Okay, or whoever the fuck it is. Don't let your pride get in the way. All right, so that's the end of this message. <laughs> These people are fucking crazy, man. I don't even understand like what people... Be I just really feel like people aren't really paying attention to stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like people aren't paying attention to things that are going on around them. Um, and not to say that I, you know, I don't like I'm talking about things that are like in the news or maybe just around the community. But, you know, you get people who a lot of people, um, you know, we get in hermit mode. There's a lot of things we don't pay attention to. But what I'm talking about is I'm talking about people who are very self-absorbed, very involved in just themselves. Where they don't understand, like they don't see things. like, they, And if they do see things, they see things from just their very, um, very linear perspective. Mm -hmm. They just see what they want to see. We got motherfucking celebrities every damn day, every day it seems, going down for doing the most foul shit to people. Getting caught up. And I don't understand why people that are not celebrities or, you know, have, or people that, could be some of these people could very well be people that are well known we do have the star out here that's falling in the reverse with the six of wands in the reverse as well so we could be talking about people that are very well known in their communities online some of these people could be celebrities i don't know uh but a lot of these people feel like whatever whoever the fuck they are prevents them from getting in any kind of trouble or it gives them the, the the right to go around doing whatever the fuck they want to do to people or saying whatever the fuck they want to say and we all know that shit is whack you feel me that's not how this works but they're going to continue to keep doing it they're going to be stopped this time though as what i heard they're about to be embarrassed if this is if this hasn't already i don't really feel like this has already happened yet i feel like spirit is telling you to sit back and watch you're about to see some you're about to see some shit dead ass uh spirit said grab the t oracle cards <laughs> 
What does spirit want us to know? Probably what they've been saying about you or what or, or, or who they truly are because all of it is a projection anyways when people do that dumb shit. We got 5.45 p.m. on the clock here. All right. Wanted to come out something I'm telling you something this is some old this is somebody you don't even deal with no more with the dusted off this is some old ass shit or they're talking about some old shit you did clarify dusted off what else yeah some old it's something old whatever they found is old okay <laughs> these motherfuckers are stupid one more then get mad yeah, giving money. They're paying people to spread these lies about you or they've paid somebody to go find something. Mm -hmm. I heard of like a private investigator possibly. These people went as far, went that far to, well, this is about a job offer, so. Okay. So your ex was competing with you for a job offer that you didn't know anything about or you didn't know. I don't think, I don't. I don't even feel like you know that this job offer is even coming to you with the with the uh, with the with the way the cards came out. There's an offer that your ex knew about or something. That's weird. The shit people don't tell you. <laughs> like I say, an offer, an offer. I can't make this shit up. Mm -mm. Or they were paying people to. I feel like I feel like people were paid to to, to spread lies, especially with with the, with the channel message I got here. But somebody was paid to to dig up some type of dirt or find something on you. Okay. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. You're unbothered by this shit. You should be unbothered by it. I mean, I don't know. You know, spirits, spirits saying that you are unbothered or you, you should remain unbothered. Yeah, you're not haunted by this shit. Whatever your past is, is your past. We all understand that everybody got a past. Everybody has a story to tell, but it all depends on what story are they going to tell you. You feel me? They're going to give you the true story. They're going to give you uh, the 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 E-True Hollywood version where it just highlights all the shit that they've done that's good. And then highlights everything bad that's happened to them. But instead of, you know... That's just the way I like to look at the shit. But everybody has a story to tell. Which story is, is a person willing to tell? That's that's the question and the answer right there. Everybody got a past, you feel me? Everybody doesn't have the same kinds of past, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people try to always... I feel like people... Know that, know that their past is unlike anything anybody has ever done. Or ever been a part of. You feel me? So that's why these people, these people, a lot of these people could never tell people about their past. And hell, a lot of these people couldn't even tell people what they did yesterday or 30 minutes ago. You feel me? So that's the reason why these people are always looking for things to dig up on other people to deflect. Okay. Yeah, broke ass bitch, whoever the fuck it is. Or you could be broke then about it. trying to keep you broke. You're not bothered by any of this shit. Okay, but if broke ass did come out in the reverse, so you probably not to be broke. You're probably not about to be broke anymore. Yeah, bankrupt in the reverse. I can't make it up. You could be going through some type of hard time right now. Just just stay focused. Continue to do whatever it is you're doing. Do it do it with blind faith. Do it with gratitude. Okay? And do it with joy, especially if it's something that you enjoy doing. Okay? So that is the end of this message here. Okay, comment comment down below if any of this shit resonate with you. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the spiritual savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was loving light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you. To the moon and back. Good evening. Deuces. Savage.